Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and thankfully there are more and more survivors. Over the past three decades, death rates from the disease have decreased by about 40%. But for many survivors, the transition to life after treatment can be difficult. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. Mother of four, Aisha Patterson, was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer in 2020. My husband was able to run his business from home, so he was my main caretaker. I just went into get stuff taken care of modes, taking care of her, taking care of the kids, taking care of the business. Her husband, friends and family all rallied around her during treatment, including surgery, chemotherapy and 33 rounds of radiation. Two days after I had my double mastectomy, they called and said that I was cancer free. I was thinking I'm going to be done. I'm going to be so happy that I can go on and live my life. But she struggled to return to the life she led before her diagnosis. I didn't realize how hard survivorship was going to be. I didn't realize that I would be so afraid of the cancer coming back. It literally felt like a dragon just breathing down my neck all the time. I was left to rebuild and figure it out on my own, which was a, an extremely trying process when you're already so broken. As survival rates increase, more women are navigating life after treatment, where they say the support they had often fades. The support just kind of fizzles out as you go through treatment. Like by the time I got through radiation, the casseroles weren't coming. Doctors suggest creating a survivorship plan. It's a process. Just like you had to adjust to the diagnosis of breast cancer, you're gonna have to adjust to the survivorship phase. But often, building that new normal can be difficult. Your clothes fit differently, your body looks different. You know, every time you see yourself in the mirror, you're reminded every time you have a symptom, it brings it up. Clinical psychologist and breast cancer survivor, Christina Hibbert, is hoping to use her experience to support others. And I'm at the hospital where I had a bunch of my surgeries and it is very nerve wracking. She says patients need more resources as they transition from treatment to recovery. When you're told you're done, all of a sudden it's like crickets, like nobody's there. We as the medical community need to build programs and systems and guidelines in order to support them well to optimize their care and their ultimate long-term outcomes. Now survivors like Aisha and Christina are using social media to create that community. We don't have to pretend. We don't have to have that mask on or, or be, feel like we have to be tough or strong or the warrior. We can just say how hard it is. Keep living life on your terms. Try to add in intentional time to just do life and not just go through the motions anymore. That was Cecilia Vega reporting. A reminder that today is National Mammography Day. According to the CDC, 50 to 70 women who are 50 to 75 who are at average risk for breast cancer should get a mammogram every other year. Women 40 to 49, talk to your health care provider or doctor about when to begin and how often to get one.